Welcome to the party, pal. You're for the neighborhood master chaos. Back with you once again. I am a little late to the party. I was on vacation with the family, but、uh, I wanted to bring you this information in case you had not noticed or had not become aware of it. Severin has revealed one last title,、uh, making it eight reveals out of nine. They're holding one back for the Saturday of the sale weekend. We'll get into that in a moment, but let's talk about、uh, their last film reveal. This is their 4K. This is what they tweet. Here it is: the final title reveal ahead of the mid-year sale. Paul Morrissey's Blood for Dracula. Our edition features a UHD with a new master of the film, scanned uncut in 4K from the original negative, for the first time ever. Note: we won't be releasing Flesh for Frankenstein. Flesh for Frankenstein is a conversation for another day, but odds are that that's a Vinegar Syndrome title.、Uh, here we go. Andy Warhol presents Blood for Dracula. Now I don't actually know what Andy Warhol did for this movie, but、uh, it stars the amazing Udo Kier. Beautiful artwork here. Nice stark white.、Uh, uh, gorgeous. It, it almost looks like watercolors.、Uh, fantastic artwork here. Uh, it's an interesting film. I'm not sure that I'm jumping on this, but、uh, this is certainly、uh, in keeping, I think, with the 4Ks that they've done.、Um, you know, is really in the same ballpark as、uh, Santa Sangre, in my opinion. Let's take a look at the IMDb. Blood for Dracula, 1974, an hour and 46 minutes. An ailing vampire count travels to Italy with his servant. To find a bride,、uh, that's that's、uh, essentially it. That is the whole movie right there.、Uh, let's take a look at the cast real quick. You have Joe D'Alessandro, Udo Kier, Vittorio De Sica playing the dad, which is insane, insane. Who is Vittorio De Sica? Let me show you. Vittorio De Sica is the director of The Bicycle Thieves. That's right, and the director of Umberto D, one of my favorite. Films of all time.、Uh, this, I mean, this fucking guy is legendary, and、uh, he's <laughs> he's playing second fiddle to Udo Kier in a in, in a Dracula movie. It's、uh, fantastic. And there you have it, Blood for Dracula 4K UHD. That is the big 4K title that、uh, they've been hinting at for a while. There is one title that they have not released yet. Like I said, we'll be talking about that in a minute, and we'll be going over prices as well, because、uh, the prices do vary for every freaking title. <laughs> the prices do vary wildly, wildly. Now they did announce one other thing that wasn't a movie. Let's take a look at that. Severin tweets more mid-year sale news. We're thrilled to introduce the English language debut of Claude Guillard's notorious book. But post nuke films. Why is it notorious? I wonder.、Uh, after the world ends, more than 250 pages, which kind of means 251 pages, of apocalyptic goodness, and we are having 400 copies printed just for this special occasion. Okay, so、um, yeah, 400 copies. That's very limited. Feast your eyes, pal. After the world ends, when post-apocalyptic movies were telling the future. Yeah,、uh, interesting、uh, subtitle. We're telling the future. I'm not, I'm not sure how that if that translates correctly from the French.、Uh, here is the book. This is the、uh, little little look at the inside. Obviously, it's essentially a giant, you know, Blu-ray booklet、uh, with interviews and posters and and the like. And it、uh, seems to be covering the films that are in the sale, or at least part of the halfway、uh, to Black Friday nuke the mid-year sale, like Raiders of Atlantis. Here,、um, this is pretty interesting. I I, I think I would be、uh, up for getting it if if、um, honestly if I had if I had time to read. I don't have time to read anymore, not as much as I did, and and I'm not a giant fan of. Ex, you know,、uh, end of the world, a post-apocalyptic type movies, and I honestly, even if I read it, I don't think I would retain much information. But it's here, after the world ends. But how much is it, and、uh, how can you get it, and is it part of a bundle? Let's go to their info site that talks all about the sale, 
and uh, I'll fill you all in. This is their info site, Severn Nukes the Mid-Year Sale 2021. Sale starts midnight EST, Friday 6-25th. So that is that Thursday into Friday. Uh, just keep that in mind, and then it ends that, I believe, Sunday into Monday. Severin. Okay, check this out. Ready for the post-apocalyptic onslaught on your collection? It's time. In order for things to go as smoothly as possible, one hopes, please take some time to read over the following information. It covers all the ins and outs with policy updates specific to the sale. I'm going to go over what's uh, what's available. I think we, we know that already. Oh, I'm going to uh, I'm gonna skip the uh, all that stuff. We know all that stuff. Uh, I want to Talk about the stuff that's not included. The 50% off Apocalypse Sale, Severn Films, and which is kind of weird to call it Apocalypse Sale because the Apocalypse titles are not on sale, but whatever. The following will be excluded from this 50% off uh, uh, sale. Releases from the past six months. This includes all the good shit that you've been waiting for, honestly. Uh, all, the four, all the new 4Ks, the, the Milligan set, uh, Santa Sangre, you know, Deep Blood, Strike Commandos, uh, th- th- you can't get those. Grizzly, Day of the Animals, none of those. You'll have to wait for Black Friday. The bundles, of course, are going away, so you can't order them anyway. Merchandise, some will be discounted, but not everything. Limited edi- edition convention stock, which means that uh, they can bring out any limited edition that they want that uh, was apparently a limited one-time only kind of purchase and now it's available whenever, such as Blood on Satan's Claws, the Skinner Ellie, uh, Vi Ellie, uh, Revenge of the Living Dead uh, Girls Ellie, uh, Theater Bazaar Digipack, and No Way Home Ellie, which I could have sworn, could have sworn was a one-time only situation, but uh, I guess it's going to be available. So um, convention stock is here, but you will not get a discount on them regardless of how old they are. What is on sale Well, this is the stuff that's going to be on sale for the first time ever. That includes the Lindsay Baker box set, the uh, Revenge of the Living Dead Girls. These are all standards, by the way. Uh, Limited editions, you're going to have to pay a pretty penny, which that that kind of sucks, man. They should all be on sale, but whatever. Enigma, Demonia, The Beast Must Die, Shining Sex, Full Chief of Fake, Cruel Jaws, Massacre in Dinosaur Valley, Primitives, The Black Cat, Patrick Still Lives, Shock Treatment, uh, Theater Bazaar, Plague Town, Attic Expeditions, Castle of the Creeping Flesh, Family Portraits, and Tales of the Uncanny. So all that new stuff will be um, on sale. You know, if you've been waiting for that, there it is. Let's talk pricing, though. The brand new titles, aka Severin's Nuclear Warheads. Here are the nine releases. Well, eight because one is a secret. Jess Franco's The House of Lost Women will be two discs with a CD soundtrack for twenty-eight dollars. Okay, region free. Just Franco's Black Boots, a leather whip, which uh, my interview with uh, <laughs> my interview with Tim Lucas um, kind of uh, convinced me to pick up. Uh, he really sold me on this. Uh, it's going to be twenty four dollars region free. Lucio Fulci's Warriors of the Year twenty seventy two, two disc limited edition. It doesn't say what the second disc is, but well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, twenty eight dollars region A only on that one. Uh, Guy Magar's Retribution, three-disc limited edition Blu-ray with a slipcover, uh, plus a uh, soundtrack. It's three fucking discs. I'm not sure what the third disc is. If one is the Blu-ray and one is the soundtrack, then I have no clue what the other disc would be. But it's there, and it's $36. I don't expect that to move at all. That's pretty pricey for a movie no one's heard of. That's kind of nuts, honestly. Uh, Joe D'Amato's Endgame 2-disc <coughs> limited edition with CD soundtrack, $28. This is region A as well. Mark Savage's The Masturbating Gunman as Blu-ray. That's the cheapest one at $20, bucks, region free. I wonder why it's so cheap. Uh, maybe because they realized they probably couldn't, nobody would buy it at $28. I don't know. Region free, $20. Bucks. Maybe there's no features on it. Uh, uh, Deodato's Raiders of Atlantis. $24, Region A. Uh, yeah, I wonder why some are locked. Oh, it's got to be, con- obviously it's contractually for, uh, for some reason. Actually, I think Raiders and Endgame were being put out by uh, in the UK by uh, another company. By U- Utopia? No, not Utopia. It doesn't matter. So I think that's why they're lo- region locked. 
Anyway, that whole line of Asterix is uh, basically a placeholder for Blood for Dracula. This is a three disc limited edition 4K Ultra HD Digi Pack. I'm not a big fan of Digi Packs with slipcover. Uh, $45, region free. Yikes. That's a little rich for my blood. 45 bucks, man. That's kind of nuts. Then the mystery Blu ray title. Check this out. Very limited two disc Blu ray with an unpromotable slipcover. That doesn't necessarily mean nudity. That just means it's like Jaws 5 or Texas Chainsaw 3, something like that. This is going to debut Saturday, June 26th at noon. Noon EST. So uh, that will not be revealed until midway into the sale. That's interesting. I'm curious what that is. Uh, and this is only going to be... A, uh, now, here, this is what it says. Will only be available for the remainder of the sale. Uh, but I, I'm pretty sure they'll find a way to bring it back. Uh, oh, convention stock or whatever. So if you miss it, you most likely will be able to pick it up. Because everyone thought that Blood on Satan's Claws was completely out of print. It wasn't. It's not. Uh, this mystery title is uh, $32, though. $32 fucking dollars. Region A. So why... Is, this is a two-disc um, uh, Blu-ray. $32. Why is this $32? But then Endgame is a two disc at $28. And House of Lost Women is a two disc at $28. Hmm. The same with Warriors, uh, Warriors of the Year 2072. Those are $28. Why is this secret one $32? Uh, maybe that second disc isn't a soundtrack, but still. I don't know. I mean, Full Cheese doesn't say that, but that's... Uh, yeah, it's interesting. It's interesting to me. I'm not sure what that means. So the book, how much is the book if you wanted the book? Well, introducing the English language edition of Claude's radioactive book, After the World Ends. Uh, it's 200, see, it's 252 pages. So over 250, I was right. Over 250 is 252. That's funny. Uh, the price will be $35. $35. Bucks. Um, but get this. Half of them will be uh, uh, available individually for purchase. But the other half will be available in a bundle. Let's talk about the bundle. Let's see. Dystopic bundles. We will be debuting two unique bundles that will be available only during the sale. And let's talk about these and pricing. The Nuclear Meltdown Bundle limited to $300. This bundle will include all nine brand new mid-year releases. The wraps for retribution will be signed by Dr. Uh, Dr. Director Guy Magar and composer Alan Howarth. The wraps for the masturbating gunman will be signed by director Mark Savage. The price will be 246 buckaroos. <clears throat> Yikes. The Marauder bundle uh, will include the post-nuke Blu-ray releases of Warriors Endgame and Raiders, along with our limited edition post nuke book after the world ends. The price will be 104. So keep that in mind. If you want the book and you go for the big bundle, you're not getting the book. You're going to have to buy the book separate. If you get the Marauders bundle, you get the book. That's, that's interesting. That's very, very interesting. I'm, I'm curious if anyone's going to be jumping on the bundles it's just it's such a weird bunch of movies so anything else i need to show you the site is going to go down this week but don't worry i've got you covered here on master chaos tv site tours every day until the sale starts so you can make your lists of what you want to get this is all uh, after the sale closes you know if people have questions this is this site will be up uh, for questions to be answered but get this you can get free shipping. I think this is a new thing because they, they, last year I know it was a hassle to figure out what the shipping was. U.S. residents must spend $100 and over. Canadian residents, $150. And all other countries, $200. So there you go. Uh, you're going to get free shipping, uh, which, is, um, which is great. Our site also offers free economic shipping media mail. Please note that you have to be the one to select free shipping during checkout. So make sure you do that, because uh, uh, maybe that existed, and I just never noticed, so people kept missing out on it. But there it is. 
Uh, the free shipping tiers are raised at every mid-year and Black Friday sale every year. Again, the shipping default is to pay for shipping, so you will need to manually select that you want free economy shipping once you reach your appropriate tier, if applicable. Okay, so uh, remember that you can get free shipping if you spend a lot of money, and most of us will. Let's go back up here to uh, one of the titles announced. And we'll end with this. Lucho Fulci's Warriors of the Year 2072 two-disc limited edition Blu-ray set just got some specs. Let's take a look at that and call it a day. Severin tweets, today is the birthday of Lucho Fulci, so we're revealing the full details of our upcoming Warriors of the Year 2072. This will be the first fully authorized Blu-ray in the USA, newly scanned in 4K from an IP print. Full disc specs and a glimpse of the reverse wrap artwork below. Here is the wrap artwork. Uh, it does look quite beautiful. I love the big old UFO in the back. I mean, that looks amazing, but that was, this movie is not going to be nowhere near as amazing as this cover. Specs are as follows. The Fulci tapes a conversation between Lucio Fulci and Michelle Romagnoli. Unloved, an interview with the screenwriter, the nicest villain, an interview with Raven Howard Ross, the good-hearted gladiator, an interview with the main guy, Al Cliver. My Father the Hero, an interview with uh, Fulci's daughter, uh, Photographing the Future, an interview with a cinematographer, Four Times Lucio, an interview with actress uh, Sin, uh, Sinzia, what a name, beautiful, audio commentary with uh, Nathaniel Thompson and Troy Howarth, trailer, and a CD soundtrack. So the second disc is a CD soundtrack. So why is, the, why is that other two disc you know secret title 32 bucks and this is only 28 it's very strange to me but that's it that is region a that is the features on warriors of the year 2072 also just announced the specs for the just frango titles and the cover reveals black boots a leather whip and the house of lost women let's take a look at black boots a leather whip i kind of I hate this cover this looks really bad um in, in a very strange way parts of it i do like but um i don't know there's just something about the way it's drawn it almost looks like one of those nigerian posters if you're familiar with those this is this, that's the feeling i'm getting with this uh and and the person on the floor kind of looks like a man with breasts it's, I, i'm very confused there um, black boots, leather whip. Don't know anything about it, but um, uh, this cover is certainly not safe for work. And this is the House of Lost Women. Uh, this is a really messy cover as well. Um, obviously, it looks like there's going to be some nudity on this cover. But yeah, I don't like the collage. It looks like it's just a various sex scenes <laughs> pieced together. Um, not a big fan of it, but I guess if you know the movie, maybe this is indicative of the movie. There's just a lot of nudity and sex scenes, which is fine. But, uh, I, I wish this was a more elegant cover. Maybe I'm asking for too much. Specs for House of Lost Women, In the Land of Franco, Part 6, Murderous Passions, Stephen Thrower on House of Lost Women, an audio essay with I'm in a Jess Franco State of Mind by Robert Monell, the CD, Daniel J. White in the Land of Franco, Volume 2. Uh, uh, oh, I guess that's like a... Soundtrack or something? I'm not sure. I'm guessing that's what it is. I'm not familiar with Daniel J. White, but a CD would indicate a music. Uh, so there you go. The feature, uh, feature specs, uh, 235, mono, subtitles in English, and uh, all region. Okay, so that's House of Lost Women. Then uh, Black Boots, a leather whip with that crazy uh, Nigerian uh, poster. In the Land of Franco, part five. Uh, okay, so then I guess in order of... Um, release uh black boots would come before house murderous passions uh, author stephen thrower on the black boots audio commentary with robert monell and rodney barnett and then you got 235 spanish mono english subtitles and all region that's a look at the several news that's fit to print we will not get any reveals until this coming saturday for the mid-year sale i hope you'll stick around here on this channel your friendly neighborhood master cast is going to have you covered I'm going live as soon as the sale starts. We're going to uh, uh, just dig in, have some fun, and chat purchasing just like we did with the Vinegar Syndrome Halfway to Black Friday sale. Hope you'll join me for that all week. I love you very much, my friend. Take care of yourself. 
We'll talk soon. If you're new here, subscribe. Help me get to 1,500 subs before July 5th. That would be amazing. Amazing, and I'd be honored to have you join the Chaos crew. Take care of yourself. Uh, we'll talk soon. I'll see you tomorrow. I'll be here. I hope you will be as well. For now, I remain to be continued.